Okay, and uh, welcome back to the Wealthy Money Hour. Unfortunately, we had some uh, technical difficulties, but uh, I, I understand we're back now, and I hope uh, you can hear me okay. And we have some uh, additional uh, uh, information we want to share with you today. We've been, for the last couple of days, we've been talking about the uh, uh we're talking about the uh, oversold condition in the market and suggesting that the market would um, move from this oversold uh, bottom condition on these various stocks to uh, uh, move up based on our daily uh, based on our daily cha uh, channels and uh, we have some uh, I'll just give you an example of we spoke about the uh, uh, the Wall Street money letter uh, yesterday, and uh, we said that in a Wall Street money letter, and this is, I guess, I was using, uh, I was using a, a, a different form of uh, uh, word, but here is the uh, Wall Street money letter uh, where today uh, we just designed this for you, not part of the uh, publication of the Wall Street money letter, but we. We had three of the issues that we have spoken about, uh, which is Amazon, uh, Visa, and Netflix, which would qualify as buy signals on today. Uh, and the way the Wall Street Money Letter uh, lists these things within an action alert, the action alert that we would send out to subscribers would say exactly the issues under consideration and it would say Amazon, uh, the long-term cycles are up. Uh, the minimum upside target is $133. Uh, the uh, um, short-term oversold condition shows that Amazon is at 122. And the recommendation uh, for the long-term resistance, we think the stock, uh, based on these channels that we were just discussing, uh, with you can go to as high as 146.01. So the recommendation that we would have in the action alert would say to buy Amazon at, uh, uh, we, we suggest we buy it in three, three levels or quants, and we just say you place an order to buy at 126.24, uh, then another order at 126.01, and another order at uh, 126.15, and and basis on that, I'm looking at the, uh, uh, the particular stocks uh, uh, currently. Uh, we would uh, on Amazon it's at 120, 126, 125.97. That means we would have purchased the Amazon today at 126.24, at 126.01, and we're still trying to buy it at the 125.15 to make up the uh, total amount that we would be buying uh, for that stock. Uh, now, the reason for that is that we go down further and we see that Amazon on our daily charts uh, are oversold, and we expect Amazon to move up uh, just as the market uh, should rally over the next couple of days. Uh, and the same thing with um, uh with Visa and Netflix. Both of these, all these Netflix and Visa are in oversold condition, so therefore we believe that uh, uh, these stocks can be bought. Visa, uh, we have a long-term cycle is up. We have a short-term oversold condition at uh, 227. Uh, that's the bottom of the support level. And then we have uh, recommendations of buying at 230, 20 and 229.12. So let me look at uh, the current price on Visa. It's at 230.03. That means we would have purchased Visa today at uh, $230.20. And, and okay, and uh, I understand we have a caller on the line. So, uh, welcome, caller. How can I help you today? Uh, hello. Um I, I've been in the ETF, the XLU, and uh, I've had it in my retirement account, and I had some medical issues and everything, and so it kind of slipped under the radar. 
and I see that everybody's kind of bailed out of that thing. And I was just wondering if it's probably bottomed out now and it's just might as well just hang in there. Uh, well, the uh, uh, at, at this particular at this particular time, the way my computers are set up, let me see if I can just get it uh, uh, for you here. The uh, XLU, let's see, uh, is the uh, the spiders of the uh, utility sector. Okay, and you can see that yeah. based on our our screen, if you can see the screen here, okay, with interest rates uh, moving up, uh, the yield that you've been getting on this XLU is uh, moving down. And what's all the way down on the right-hand side from a high of 68 to 56. This, this identifies that we're pretty much at the low point, and I would not suggest you sell at this point uh, since you've held on for so long. And what yeah. you need, what you need to happen is for the, the, uh, the stock, to, the the index to uh, su get supported, and then to be able to move back up. Longer term, the stock has a potential of going from 56 to 66. Okay, but you just have to wait for okay. the turnaround. The turnaround would take place based on what the treasury market is. But I appreciate your call. Thank you very much for calling in. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so here we were uh, uh, suggesting again that the, uh, if I can get my, uh, uh, my thing up here, the uh, Amazon, Visa, and Netflix were buy signals today in anticipation of them reaching a short-term buy signal, and we believe that the market has a potential of moving up over the next uh, couple of days. Uh, we'll be right back after this break. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. 
The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno, and apologize again for the uh, difficulty that we had uh, uh, technical difficulty. We hope it's uh, resolved at this point. Uh, and uh, yesterday we were trying to describe, uh, and I had uh, uh, the wrong uh, PowerPoint that gets presentation up for the Wall Street Money Letter. So let me uh, take this opportunity again to uh, go through uh, what we have and uh, uh, you know, what uh, people can expect uh, from the Wall Street Money Letter. Here we have the uh, Wall Street Money Letter, and then we have a weekly market analysis and forecasts will be updated uh, each Monday before the market opens. Okay, and on the market analysis and update, I, I give a, an overview of where we are in the market and what our forecast up or down uh, for the market to continue. Right now, we're in a, uh, if I was giving you a, uh, an update right now, we were, we're in a uh, downtrend. However, we're in a rally within this downtrend. And as I explained uh, previously, we have long-term uh, cycles that are up and long-term cycles that are down. Uh, regardless of whether these long-term cycles are, are up or down, uh, an up cycle has three steps up, but it does move down two steps. That means you do get corrections within an up cycle of a particular stock or index. Uh, if the long-term cycle was down, uh, the cycle moves down. However, there are rallies that go up two steps. But if you're following a, a down cycle of three steps down and two steps up and three steps down and two steps up, you're eventually going to get to the bottom of the market. We think the S&P is, is heading down towards the at least the 4220, 4200 area. Right now we're at 4277. So this is a rally within an overall downtrend. And that's the information I would be sharing with the subscribers uh, to the, the newsletter so that at least you know at that point uh, not to get too excited that we're in a new bull market or the lows for October have been achieved. As we shared with you our action alert yesterday, we said that the months of September and October are usually seasonally down months, and therefore they probably hit a low in October. Uh, this low, I don't believe, is the low uh, for October because our cycles of forecasting, as I just suggested, the S&P has another uh, 40 points down to go, at least from a minimum. Okay, and then we have um, uh, stocks under consideration. And the issues under consideration are the ones that I uh, showed previously, uh, the three stocks that we think uh, can bounce based on their oversold condition. Uh, and will probably bounce within this this current rally. And when we have stocks that we believe are going to bounce in this current rally, we give you indicators as we did uh, uh, here uh, back on the screen. Uh, and we include this within the publication of the uh, weekly Wall Street Money Letter. Uh, what prices we think you should buy uh, these stocks at and we every day there's a different price level. So this today we gave prices for Amazon, Visa, and Netflix, and we did get some of them. So hopefully, if this market uh, moves up and the market uh, uh, is able to rally, uh, we're you know these these stocks that we've selected should be able to 
uh, continue to move up. The Dow Jones Industrial Average right now is is up six, is down six points uh, after being down 40, 50 points when we started the program. The S&P is up 15 points. The Nasdaq is up 123 points. And I believe the Netflix and Amazon are part of the uh, Nasdaq. So they should be moving up, uh, moving up as well. Uh, let's see uh, what they look like from a uh, 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 Visa is at 236.60, uh, higher than the price we paid at 230.20. Uh, I don't think we got the 229 uh, level. Uh, the next stock we had was Amazon. Uh, Amazon is up one. Uh, 172 to 126.44. Uh, we bought Amazon at uh, 126.24, so we're up a little bit there. And on Netflix, uh, Netflix is at 374.98, uh, and we were trying to buy it at 370. Uh, we bought it at 374.35, and then 374.01. I don't know what the, what the low was. Uh, yeah, the low was 373.58 today, so we certainly bought uh, Netflix as well, and we're still trying to buy that 373, uh, 73, and it got as low as 373.58. So we're basically long now within the Netflix, Amazon, and and Visa, and that's how these uh, these action alerts will will work uh, sent, sent to subscribers, and then we show the charts. Uh, basically, the charts for that. Uh, what we were also trying to point out is that in the Wall Street Money Letter, these are the stocks under consideration. So you would have those three stocks uh, listed there. And then we have the, the type of information that becomes available to uh, subscribers. Here's the proprietary trading formulas, the algorithmic trading uh, of the newsletter. We have... Uh, uh, different types of recommendations that we make within the uh, newsletter, uh, which includes exchange-traded funds, uh, short-term stock trading strategy, index futures trading strategy, low price stocks on the New York Stock Exchange strategy. Uh, that usually takes place around the, uh, the end of the year. They have a January effect where uh, stocks in December, low price stocks on the New York Stock Exchange are sold off and uh, January they repurchased and uh, about 20, 25, 30 years ago uh, we found out about this concept from someone uh, who uh, borrowed money from his mom uh, and purchased uh, uh, purchase stocks listed on the New York Stock Exchange at five dollars and below, and uh, and in December, and come in January, those stocks have uh, moved up uh, quite quite a bit. So some of these uh, beaten down stocks become some of them can become winners. Here's the statistics for that: one third of the stocks move up and become winners. One third of the stocks do nothing; they remain low. Uh, and one third of the stocks go out of business. <laughs> so, you know, if the stock is selling under five five dollars a share, uh, they're not doing that well. However, for them to be listed on the New York Stock Exchange, uh, it does require reporting on a regular basis. So, uh, it's a prestige thing trying to stay on the New York Stock Exchange, and uh, the companies will do everything possible to turn the company around. Uh, remain on the New York Stock Exchange, otherwise they, uh, you know, then probably they train on, on the uh, NASDAQ over the counter market. Overnight trading, 24 hours, options trading, and uh, that's what we have within the Wall Street Money Letter. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And as we were mentioning earlier that the our cycle believed that was continuing to be in a long-term cycle down and that uh, and you have the three steps down and two steps up. We're experiencing uh, one or two steps up that could take place for the uh, rest of the week. Uh, we have what we call a uh, not very popular or known uh, end in a month trading cycle that we mentioned a couple of days ago in the action alert, which ideally and it usually works better in the bull market, is that the last trading day of the old month and the first four trading days of the new month, which we're in now, uh, usually has a rally and an upside uh, price target. And the reason for that is that institutions and pensions that collect money throughout the month, uh, they invest within the beginning of the month, sometimes the day before, and they start investing that money for the uh, 401k people or the pension people and so on. And that usually has the market moving up a few a few, a few days. Basically, the last trading day of the old month, whatever that price was, and the first four trading days of the new month on the fourth day of the new month is higher than the last day of the old month. So that basically is a, is a cycle uh, that we've been uh, known to take advantage of for a long time. Now, in the... S&P, right now it's at 42.78. Uh, our cycle analysis this morning has suggested that the market has a potential of getting to 43.02 uh, in today's rally. And uh, uh, we got to uh, uh, 42, uh, 42.80, but we had the potential of going to 43.02, I'm sorry. 4302, and the highest we got today was 4280. So it still has some 
room to run uh, if it's going to hit an upside target. The downside, however, is important, 4263. I wouldn't be buying anything unless it gets down to 4263. I believe that's the end of our program. Thank you for listening, and let's see same time tomorrow. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level?